hello hello welcome back to my channel you guys I'm gonna be a nurse really soon um, I graduate May 7th it's just right around the corner I just can't even believe it uh, it's a little weird because I graduate May 7th but our preceptorship is actually until like June 20th ish like somewhere around there um, so I graduate but I'm like not officially done isn't that weird so graduating soon, um, I am starting to prepare for NCLEX. So I wanted to pop on here and share a little bit more with you guys on how I'm preparing for that and then how I'm also studying for my current exams um, in my last semester. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So I wanted to chat a little bit with you guys um, about Picmonic. So Picmonic is actually an application on your phone that you can download and it has tons and tons of information. It is a really great studying tool for complex topics um, and nursing school topics are all complex. So um, let's go ahead and dive into this so I can share a little bit more information with you. But before I dive in, I just wanted to thank Picmonic for sponsoring today's video. I seriously appreciate it so, so, so much and Without that, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, oh, you guys see my new iPhone, by the way? Mm -mm. Um, but really quick, I wanted to show you guys, um, when you open up your phone, this is what the application looks like. So this is the application right here. This is Picmonic. When you open up the app, you can actually search um, on the search button, I already searched it, but um, when you come to the search, when you come to the search button, you actually have an arrow where it says NCLEX and it has all different types of body systems and literally like all the topics you would need to know for NCLEX. So it's really, really neat that they are so organized and just put everything together for you. Um, when you come in here, you've obviously got your cardiovascular system, fluid and electrolyte imbalances, which are super, super important. Um, it's going to go over just so many different topics for you, um, kind of just like an entire review. Um, of course, there's just like topics on each like thing you would do as a nurse, so, like whether you're a cardiac nurse or an OB nurse or neuro, like it does not matter. Everything is here listed for you. It has some um, basics on pharmacology, which is really nice. Um, it's got the respiratory system. I mean, there's so much stuff on here, you guys. Um, but yeah, when you come through here, you can actually create playlists. I've talked about this before, um, but you can create playlists. So like, let's say that you find a topic and um, a few different other studying tools that you like for one certain topic, you can like add it all under one play playlist. Oh my God, I can't talk. You can add it all under one playlist so it's easy to find. But when you just dive into here, you actually have stuff on like patient rights, health insurance, and advanced care directives. So like not just like nursing in general, but like some of the like legal things as well. So if that's stuff that you guys are interested in and learning about. So I have talked about this as well um, before, but when you come on here, there's actually like little quizzes that you're able to take to kind of like test your memory, which I thought is nice. So when you come on the app, this is kind of like the beginning of a quiz. It has all of the different answers down here that you would choose from and then it has little graphics that will kind of help your memory to kind of trigger like, okay, well this you can toss out, this you can toss out, um, but you can just choose one and um, it will tell you like whether you're right or wrong or anything like that. As far as setting for exams, I do use Picmonic, but on top of this, um, I actually do use like test banks, you can use um, just like in general, just so many types of practice questions. I'll leave some resources that I know of down below, that way if you guys have any questions about anything, um, it's already down there for you. Um, but as far as NCLEX goes, um, I get a lot of questions on like how soon should I start studying for NCLEX and this is really totally up to you um, because you can start like months and months and months before. Some people study like a couple weeks before, some people study a month before, some people don't even study at all. They just take what they grasp from school and they just go take the test and I mean kudos to them because I know very well if I did that I would not um, succeed <laughs> or pass my test. So um, I graduate May 7th and then hopefully taking NCLEX around um, June, July, so I will probably be starting studying for NCLEX very shortly, like within the next few weeks or next month. Um, so yeah, I 
study already. I mean, I'm still in my last semester, so it's kind of hard to like study for NCLEX when I'm already studying for other things um, and different topics, which will still be on NCLEX, if that makes sense. Um, but I didn't want to like put too much on my plate, so I thought about kind of like finishing this last semester and then studying for NCLEX during my preceptorship, which our preceptorship is, I believe, only like five weeks long. It's just basically hands-on, no like book work or anything. You just go to like your clinical sites and this is where you're going to be like learning um, and like starting IVs and like actually doing the things. Um, so I feel like I might have more like leeway and just like more room in my brain to study for NCLEX. So I think I will wait until then. Um, but again, Pigmatic is a great, great tool. I actually saw somewhere that they have like a um, like NCLEX guide or like a book. Um, I'll see if I can find it here. So yes, um, Pigmonic actually has a NCLEX workbook. So it's like a workbook that you can like, um, you know, it will still again just have like those graphics and like tools to help you like remember things. And it's just like a really, really great resource and it's super cheap. It looks like on Amazon it's only $30. It looks like it's a workbook and a study planner. If I can find some information or like some pictures of like what the workbook looks like, I'm going to list them up here for you guys so you guys can see them. I really enjoy Picmonic because I don't know about you guys, but I am just not the type of person to sit down and read my textbook. I just, I really struggle to like read over information and really grasp that information. So I feel like Picmonic is a good way to like actually get like lectured on, I would say lecture, um, but it's like teaching you information that you'd be able to in return um, play around with and take quizzes and like have little like funny pictures to help you remember things and I don't know like it's just like more fun and entertaining versus like just reading straight out of a textbook because I'm just that just does not work for me. For NCLEX, I really, really need to focus on um, refreshing my memory on pharmacology and doing like practice drug calculations and stuff. So I'll definitely be using Picmonic um, for that here shortly because I feel like that's kind of like where I struggle with the most is with my farm. Um, I can really do like general med search questions and like answer like multiple choice and select all the ply and just kind of like help cancel things out and like kind of choose the right answer or what sounds the best. But when it comes to calculations and figuring out um, how much stuff to give based off weight and this and that and oh you guys or certain medications and um, their side effects and things that is seriously where I struggle the most so really excited to start diving into that a little bit more here shortly and go from there but Picmonic is just one of many resources that I use for nursing school, um, but I wanted to brush up on this and talk to you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, um, and I'll see you guys around in some future videos. Um, but I do want to kind of like break down um, what's happening currently with my nursing stuff. Um, I'm almost done with school, of course, like I already mentioned, but I did already accept a nursing position in the ER. I'll be working 3P to 3A. Um, if if you guys have not seen my previous video on me accepting that position but I'm pretty excited I feel like it will give me a lot of experience and be able to be very comfortable and confident because I've already worked in that ER in that department for about three years working on four so I just know the environment everything's super familiar I know where things are um, I just feel like it will really help me as a nurse because I'm already like familiar with where I'm at and where things are at um, but yeah I don't plan on staying in the ER for more than a year um, um, I'll probably do a year minimum and then um, after that year I definitely see myself on a pediatric floor whether it is like NICU or um, just like OB like anything baby related honestly I'd be so happy I just don't know um, like what specific um, thing I want to do I don't know how to describe it like just one specific area that I like to be I just I'm not sure so Oh, I know what it's called. I don't know which um, department I want to specialize in. So it's just a work in progress, but um, it's a great place to start. So also make sure to check out all the stuff that I listed for Picmonic down in the description. Um, I did list their website and a few different other things. Um, make sure you check out their pricing and get started and happy studying. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!